dating somebody older than you, you know, when you're young, it might not seem like a big deal, but as you get into senior territory, well, that can kind of bring some issues. This is just one of the issues that we're diving into today in The Love Doctors. Take a look. Hello, my fellow doctor of love. Are you ready to dive in deep today? Yes, yes, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. Ooh, I already see two numbers jumping out at me. This is gonna be a doozy. I married my husband when I was 23 and he was 50, which I know is a big age difference, but it's never bothered me until now. I knew, of course, it started to become more of an issue as we got older, but now I'm 40, he's 67. He's starting to slow down both in life and in, yep, you guessed it, the bedroom. I don't wanna hurt his feelings by bringing it up because he's sensitive about it, but I also think it's something we should talk about, right? What's the best way to gently approach the subject without making him feel badly? Ooh, Chesley, mm. you take that first while I think this through. There, mm. there's, there's no conversation here. Hmm. She knew this was happening. When she got married to this what? guy, this was going to happen. This was inevitable. And I'm sure the conversation, this conversation should have been, been had a long time ago. I mean, to have it now is, is a little late. I mean, we knew that this, 67 so years she, ago. So she should throw in the towel? I don't, no. I don't get your point. No, no, no. She should love him just as much as she loved him when she married him or met him or whenever she fell in love with him. But we knew that this was coming. <sighs> I mean, and then what's the conversation like? How do we have this conversation? Uh, Chesley, mm -hmm. you do, you are the biggest, everything with you is about communication. You, uh, maybe perhaps she could turn the, uh, turn the uh, onus on herself and just be like, Honey, um, I have been seeing a great like herb nutritionist. Uh -huh. I'm just throwing things out there. Yeah. And I'm on all these vitamins and they're making me feel more energetic. Let me finish, Chesley. <laughs> and um, guess what? He, he, she sees men too. And um, uh, wouldn't it be great? Like, I, I think you should just go get checked out. I love this doctor. 60. Okay, there, how? Seven. That wasn't so bad. 67 years old. Father time is undefeated. It ain't happening. I can tell you that right now. The conversation is not going to uh, lead I, or no, change I anything. I disagree. Chesley, you know what? It's really easy to say. I mean, hindsight is, to, oh, y'all should have had that discussion 20 or however many years ago. But even if they did, maybe they did, you're, you're you still, you're not in that moment so it's hard to project how you're going to feel like you know what when i'm when you're old i'm going to want you to be more energetic and he's i mean what are you kidding the guy i mean you know it's a tough conversation to have as you're projecting and looking into the future you can't give up on this and she shouldn't just accept it the way it is i know very young 80 year olds by the way mister oh, oh, my yeah. mother violet is a young 79 year old <laughs> so, oh they're all so young they're all young, she's but got it not, going on but 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 they're not as fast as a, a 40 year old and, and so when when they got married or together or whatever the case may be that why gap that she mentioned or earlier that had to come up that was an issue. If she didn't talk about it, her family did, her friends did, and other people did. You're 23 years old. Are you thinking about children? Are you thinking about this? That? Oh, I'm sure somebody brought that up. I'm sure somebody brought that up. And now that we're, I'm 40, almost 20 years later, now I'm concerned about him as he's approaching 70? The age that we're, we're only promised, right? From, the, from a biblical smack, you're, you're promised about 70. That's it. He's going to slow down. And no herbs or, or, or whoever you take him to is going to fix that. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's too late for this conversation. Okay. No, I disagree. I disagree. Chesley, I've got some herbs in me, this perimenopausal <laughs> lady, and I'm spry as a little chicken. You ask Jim. You're I am spry. I'll drop and give you some push-ups right now. We are dis I cannot believe we're fighting and we're not in person because I would go like this with you and I'd slap my scripts. Hey, that conversation we're is far moving gone. On. It's over. Lady. It's over. My lady friend, no, it's not. You don't not give up. And not guess the relationship, what? But you the find a way. No, and Chesley's, oh, you just acquiesce. No, you don't. No, you don't. You find a way and you discuss it. Okay, just Chesley? Love just love is this now. lady right here? I'm, I'm shot. Hey, I'm shot full of hormones. And look at how, <laughs> look at me. I'm so normal and fine. <laughs> 
Okay, anyway, moving on. Okay, number two. I just started dating this guy who's considerably wealthy. I like that. All right, well, I didn't grow up poor or anything. Um, I did always have to be very mindful of money. So it's been a bit of an adjustment having someone who seems so careless with his. Oh, he's careless. Okay, we've only been dating a few months. He surprised me with lavish gifts, jewelry, and dinner dates. Couldn't be sweet or I don't know why it's making me feel guilty. Is this just my own insecurities talking or am I right to feel a little weird about everything? I'm gonna let you go first because I have my thoughts on this. Well, I'm wondering how old he is. That's, that's I don't wanna no, hear no. yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chess. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So, uh, yeah. In this, in this case, yeah. Obviously, there's worth. It's worth the conversation. She should be a little concerned, especially if he's that loose with money, or that he's buying her all these gifts, and she doesn't need that. A lot of times, people buy gifts to supplement for maybe some of their behavior or some of where they lack, or they, at least they feel like they lack. Maybe a little insecurity there. So you buy something. And, oh, thank you so much. You know. But I'd rather have you. You know what I mean? Like, get, she. He needs to know that right. gifts to her aren't as Actions. important as they are to him to give them to her. You know what I mean? Yes. No, yeah. I, I completely, now, but I will say this. Um, is he coming around the corner? No. <laughs> Jim, when we dated, mm -hmm. he did this. And it did make me feel uncomfortable because he didn't need to. Mm. But now Jim, where he is different is that Jim is not careless. He, believe me, this guy's like <laughs> Clark Howard's brother from another mother. So Jim doesn't do anything that he cannot afford to do, mm -hmm. but it still made me feel uncomfortable. But he's also just a very generous person. Yeah. And and I, I basically, uh, my actions showed him that while I was appreciative, I didn't need it. Right. And you know, there's there are ways to do it. Like I don't need the lavish dinners. I don't need the expensive bottles of wine. You know, like. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually would say we start instead of having like you know date night or. or after about a month of all this, I was like, hey, let's go for a walk in the afternoon mm. and um, let's go to breakfast yeah. or so, just ways to switch it up. So we knew he didn't have to break. I, w I wasn't expecting him yeah. to uh, break the bank on me. There but, you, you know, um, so there are little ways to kind of let him know how you're feeling yeah. and that you, while you appreciate it, that he doesn't really need to do that. I agree. You know, um, and, and I mean, that's. That's what I did, and now Jim doesn't give me Jack. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, Jess <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jim, what are you getting me for my birthday? Just kidding. Hey, he's it slowing is kind down. Of interesting he, he, he's, you know slowing he's slowing down now. About him. You know, he's, he's slowing down. Oh, my. Don't expect him to run as fast <gasps> as he used to. He is not. Jim is a spry 55 year old. You better stop it, mister. All right, Chesley, I have to say it felt good sparring with you again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's it good, felt debate. good debate. Good <laughs> debate.